Veteran journalist Nicola Switchell has taken a brutal swipe at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle as he prepares to deliver his hang up his microphone. Earlier this week, for one last time, Witchell was in New Broadcasting House, as he has been almost every Christmas Day for 25 years, crafting his report on the King's message in the royal gathering at Sandringham. Now that he is retiring, having been bound by what he describes as the discipline of being a BBC reporter where you can't go on air and just say what you're thinking, he's finally allowing himself the freedom to speak his mind. You cannot ignore Harry and Meghan in that story, however tedious at times it may become. We fully reported the split, the biography, and all the other imaginations of it. There have been soap opera aspects to the royal family for a very long time and an appetite for the title tattle scandal end of reporting. It's not an aspect that I feel at home with, but I recognize that it's part of the job, Nicholas Witchell wrote in the Sunday Times. The 70-year-old has spent the last 25 years reporting on the royal family, having first joined the BBC as a trainee in 1976. It meant Witchell has spent hundreds of hours in front of the camera perfecting the craft. But when delivering the news about the arrival of baby Archie in May 2019, he found himself lost for words during a live broadcast outside Buckingham Palace. Prepared to announce the news of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's first baby, he found himself handing back to the studio. It prompted speculation online about possible ill health. It was certainly a rare mishap for the presenter who was once branded awful by the then Prince Charles. However, in an article for the Sunday Times ahead of his retirement next year, Witchell explained what he felt happened during the broadcast and it involved a brutal swipe at Harry and Meghan. That was my single worst moment in 48 years drawing up in front of the audience live on TV. It was about Harry and Meghan, and maybe subconsciously I just wasn't that interested. Anyone would dry up and be lost for words trying to say anything positive about Harry and Meghan, he said. One viewer on social media at the time suggested that Witchell had endured enough of the nonsense. Witchell adds, I've obviously asked myself what went wrong. I was tired. You need to wind yourself up to stand there and do that, and I hadn't. I was complacent. You can't be complacent about live television because if you are, as I demonstrated in front of however many million people, it can bite you. That birth followed no royal protocols and was a complete hash. Even the palace was kept in the dark. Not a royal child. Neither was the next one. Lots of rumors then and since about them. Witchell says that he received support from the public following the incident, and actors who dried up on stage wrote to him to share their experiences. However, he says he's never been able to watch back the moment because it shook his confidence quite a bit. Ken and Palace birth announcement on their website was that Archie was a surrogate. This was up for several hours before being taken down. It was claimed to have been a hack. There'd never been a hack before that and next to nothing since. Did royal commentators and journalists know something but weren't allowed to say? The late queen wasn't prepared to handle Meghan and Harry in the vital. The palace should have tried harder to make Meghan assimilate into the British royal family way of life, and vice versa. Shouldn't have given her a title right away. They shouldn't have given her patronages immediately. They should have made her become a citizen before allowing her to represent the UK. They shouldn't have given in to her demands for money and status. For a mother, they let Harry push them around, and this is the consequence.